Hey guys, what's up? It's Katie and I'm back with another Marvel Contest of Champions video. And I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded any, well, real content, but we've got to talk about something. And what we have to talk about are these um, solo objectives that we have under the special tabs for, well, the objectives menu, right? So, um, you know, we've got 54 days to complete them and each one, once you complete, you know, seven out of seven out of one of these, it unlocks the next objective for the following week. So let's talk about this, first of all. So first of all, what we have here is you get points by winning fights with or against, you know, six star, five star, four star, and three star Iceman, Storm, or Kitty Pride in quests, arenas, or incursions. So I, um, I decided that I would put out um, a poll so I did one here on YouTube and I did one over on Twitch or excuse me, Twitter <laughs> about um, what describes how you guys feel about this. And I gave their fun more, please. Meh. Oh, WTF is this BS? And nope, I'm out. So you can see here on Twitter, the majority of the people were pretty much on the negative side of this, right? With very few people out of 198 votes picking their fun more of them please and it was similar over on youtube right with um quite more with 549 votes but saying more with oh wts <laughs> so let's take a look at some of the comments here so it depends the rewards though they make it worth the grind usually is it so for me as of right now the rewards aren't really worth the grind now maybe they'll step it up as the weeks progress i don't know um i like them but it'll be better to use tags instead of specific champions 100 percent, 100 percent. um this new set is terrible 100 fights against specific star number okay so what they're talking about is here is the new one right so you have to defeat six star champions in quests arenas or incursions by dealing the finishing um, blow with a special attack. So it does say champions. It doesn't say any specific champions, which is good, but still annoying. Um, I'd rather watch paint dry. <laughs> I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you on that one. I'm going to heart that one. So, and, and, and then there was this one, which I thought was, um, a really interesting read. So basically, um, this guy here, uh, Kittens Making Candles, which is a great handle, by the way, has mixed feelings about it. Um, as a low-level player, I prefer the new content since the old was largely locked and unavailable for low-level players. As a high-level player, I still prefer, prefer the old side event because you could just smash it out, have more time left over, get similar enough rewards, and not have to slog through farming tedious objectives. I agree with you tenfold. Now, um, I forgot to mention that a huge factor in assessing the side event changes is to rate them against the BAM's goals for them, because ideally all their content is planned out by the BAM in a way that each bit of content serves to progress some or all of their goals. I have no idea what detailed version of Kabam's goals are, and for me to dig into my own take on what they could, should, etc. be is real, not really something I want to wrestle with at this moment. I feel you. <laughs> so I'll just leave this component as blank, but I do want to note that it is of major importance for the content itself. And it 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 really is, um, to be honest. It really is. So let's take a look at some of the um some of the Twitter replies. Um the rewards are lackluster. And it's apparent that they're getting more desperate for daily active players to play every single day. It's so transparent. It's kind of funny. People who think they're playing the game for themselves and not the shareholders are blind. Um, that's actually really uh, insightful. It, got, it makes a lot of sense, right? That This game, there are ways to keep you in this game 24-7. And this solo objective really keeps you in this game 24-7. Now, Slugenstein makes a good point. He likes the free rewards. I feel everyone does. I do arenas anyway, and I think it's the easier way to do these objectives. It is. However, it can be quite a slog regardless. Uh, but if I did not get the objectives, I don't waste time trying to, in doing those. Rewards are met. It requires any effort to complete the objectives. It does. The rewards, so the rewards to me aren't worth it to slog through all of this. I, I said in a chat where, I said, if I completed it, if I completed the solo objectives, cool. If I didn't, I really could care less, which really isn't a thing, but I couldn't care. And um, 
Wade here, he does good. Not really a fan of these objective, uh, these specific solo. I like not having a side event so I can do other content, but having to win a fight in a specific way or the specific champs gets annoying fast. And it really, it, it, it really does. So I mentioned earlier, especially with this first week, right? It's against um, Storm, Bishop, Iceman, or Kitty Pride, And we have this, this uh, Shang-Chi side event, right? Where you go in and we're just, I'm just gonna pick one, right? We're just gonna go in and you fight the same three champions over and over again, right? Right? You fight, you fight um, She-Hulk, Sunspot, Hitmonkey, Mr. Negative, and Tigra. It would have made more sense for Kabam to use the champions that were in the side event quest, right? That were in this side event quest here to be in that side event quest, excuse me, for the champions listed in the solo objectives to be in that side event quest, or to have them, at least one of them on each path, or not each path, but in each chapter of the event quest difficulty. We really didn't have that. We had Iceman Bishop. Yeah, we fought Kitty Pride multiple times, but it's still kind of a slog fest to get all through this. Now, this brought me back to the Shang-Chi solo objectives. Remember, you had to finish each fight with a specific move, and I was not a fan of those because if you had any DOT, it wouldn't register that. I really think Kabam needs to move away from doing these sort of things where you have to finish with a certain attack because it doesn't always register or, you know, things like that. So while this one, you know, defeats six star champions um, in quests, arenas, incursions by dealing the finishing blow with special attack, that's easy to do if you're an arena grinder. If you're not an arena grinder, this can be a little bit difficult to obtain. So, you know, I would... As much as I enjoyed the no side event quest next month and the, you know, jam packed full of arenas, um, if it's between side event quests and objectives like this, I would rather have the side event quests or make the rewards worth the effort. Because for me, the rewards, they're not worth it for me to just kind of battle my way through this and remember, you know, am I using the right champion or am I fighting against the right, right champion? So. I really think this was a big miss um, on Kabam's part. Um, I know they're trying to change things up, which I enjoy, but I feel like they kind of really missed the mark here. I know a lot of people, as was seen, right, um, through the uh, Twitter and YouTube posts, right, that they are not happy um, with this. If, 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 I mean, if you look at it, most of them, not happy it's pretty close between you know wtf and meh and the same uh can be said here so i would really like to see them maybe try to think a little bit out more out of the box more i hope they kind of tune or do something with the objectives to come i hope those aren't set in stone um because if they're set in stone i think a lot of people are going to be Pretty irritated if they're anything like what we have seen for week one and week two. But anyways, guys, that's all that I got for today. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think of these solo objectives? Are you a fan of them? Do you want to see more of them? Or would you rather go back to just the side event quests? Let me know in the comments below and let's discuss. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching and enjoy this quick word from Kevin Smith. Hey man, it's me, Kevin Smith, and if you enjoyed the mediocre MCOC video full of scrub gameplay, then show Katie some love by hitting like and subscribe, man. Katie don't ask for much. Katie did ask for this. Katie did. So, do like Katie did and bug people and get you to like and subscribe, man. She's doing that MCOC beautifully. Not mediocre. Katie!